You at six. It's a clever business venture for one local man. He's making and selling healthy snacks with an emphasis on fighting food waste. Philip Townsend explains why local breweries are his secret ingredient. It started as a happy accident. That's how Brian Daniels describes what's now a full blown business. I had a jar on my desk and you know, they'd come leave a dollar and take a bar. He's talking about his co-workers buying homemade granola bars, bars he made in his kitchen using leftover grain from brewing his own beer. And uh, through word of mouth, I ended up getting so many orders, I didn't have enough of my own grain to support that. That was the aha moment. Brian thought, why not go to local breweries and ask if they have leftover grain he can use? They did. A lot of it. And now we have all good craft granola bars. Uh, the first brewery I went to, um, the guy's like, yeah, we actually just made some beer today. Um, you can have this. They brought me a bucket. and That's literally the, the day it became a business. Brian works with more than 10 breweries in almost all of the seven cities. He still makes the granola right out of his home kitchen. But there are plans for expansion. He sees the concept working in any city with breweries, which right now is not hard to find. So there could be an all good Richmond and all good Northern Virginia um, those kind of things. So that's really the five to eight, 10 year plan is to have the same business model in different cities. He offers flavors like cranberry almond IPA, chocolate cherry stout, and pumpkin spice Oktoberfest. Sweet treats with a big focus on the environment. He's fighting food waste with every single bar. Uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. You know, take care of the, the brewer's needs, but also um, uh, ease the environmental burden and then make a good snack. For 13 News Now. I'm Philip Townsend. You can find the granola every Saturday at Old Beach Farmers Market at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. And you can also buy it online. We posted a link to Brian's website with this story on 13newsnow.com.